Now, um, Chris, there's a specific focus, is there not, on Zimbabwe? Well, we've got a number of Zimbabwe pieces here. Because? Um, last time we raised money for a um, group of sculptors in Zimbabwe who had set up a cooperative and who had no water on the site. And so we raised enough money last time to dig a borehole, so they've now got fresh water, both for drinking and for sanitary purposes, for the sculptors and for the people who visit their um, sculpture parks. And this is a town just outside of Harare? Just outside Harare, um, Chitangiza. And um, what we have done is to import a container load of their work, and that's being exhibited in the gardens and in the two indoor sculpture galleries at Kingham Lodge. It's an amazingly high standard of work. Uh, really? I mean, I'm looking at it now, now and, and um, I can tell you um, it is extraordinary. I'm amazed. A, at the, the, the quality of the work, the, the high standard, you say, but also the value. I mean, as far as our work are concerned, these are really uh, totally um, at, the, at the, the cheaper end. They're very inexpensive. For what they are, they're a bargain. Yes, absolutely. For what they are, mm. they're an incredible bargain. He makes these sculptures of African animals out of re recycled um, tins from Coca-Cola and Fanta. This is an old Coke can, isn't it? It's an old Coke can. And his wheelchair is literally falling apart. It's held together with bits of wire when I last saw it. And he hammers these out and cuts them into strips and by hand then weaves these strips round metal frames. And they're, you know, they are sculptures in their own right. Every single one of them is different. They've got a little bit of character to them. And uh, they're brilliant little pieces of uh, work. I'll give you £10 for that, Chris. <laughs> right, oh, you're I'll on. I'll put it on the side. It's lovely. I'll start my art <laughs> collection. Thank you very much. <laughs> Terrific. There we go.